Hey Reefers, welcome back. Okay, so today's video is a little bit of a sad one. Like I've said in the past, we are going to be as transparent as we can on our journey together as our community on, on YouTube. And this shipment that landed um, a little while ago from Indonesia was our last unpacking video. I will leave a link up now to see that video so you know which one we're talking about. Um, the fish landed all wonderfully. I think we had one dead on arrival. Um, everything was fine and then about two days later the fish started dropping like flies and before we knew what was going on before I could put my finger on it it was velvet and I'd lost pretty much the entire shipment and then it infected what we had left yeah, so on the right of me here is um, one of the systems we have um, uh, blanked off from the rest of the tanks and as this is one bank and this is one bank over here unfortunately fish went into both banks and Yes, all hell broke loose. So what we've done is we've isolated this system, got a little makeshift filter going on over here that just to have a biological system, throwing some live rock in there and this system is under treatment. So what we've done is, you know, this bank here is a bank on its own and this bank here is separate. From, so they're not running together. They have their own filtration. But unfortunately, we added fish from the shipment to both systems and both systems have been infected. And so what we've got left basically, we've moved into this system over here and isolated it from the rest, made a, our own little makeshift little filter with a reactor, and that's just to isolate these fish and these fish can start treatments. Uh, we're running copper in the system here. Uh, we have lost one or two fish in the, in the treatment process, but some are looking good and bouncing back by the looks of things. Yeah, so like I say, this system now is isolated from the rest. And what we're going to do today is we're going to disinfect these systems so we can get them started again. Now, if you weren't going to do the disinfecting um, method, then you'd have to run your system for a minimum of 72 days to get the parasite out the system. Now, unfortunately, we are a store and we don't have that kind of time. So we're going to go with one of two methods. The, the two methods on removing a parasite or, or, or disinfecting a system after you've had an infection is vinegar or bleach. We're going to go with the bleach method. We're going to go to a 10 to 1 ratio. So that's a 10% um, solution of bleach. And we're going to wash all the equipment with it. We're going to actually run it through the pumps, through all the plumbing and disinfect the tank top to bottom. Any of the biomedia that was in our sumps that's going to be put into a separate container. It's all K2 pellets, so it's not uh, live rock. We like to use the K2 pellets on our systems here purely because we can disinfect them quickly. You know, there's no, no issue with that. Basically, the same thing, it'll be a 10 to 1 um, solution of bleach, and those K2 pellets will be soaked in that solution for, i uh, give it 24 hours. We'll rinse them out, leave them in the sun if the weather in Durban will just decide what it's going to do because it keeps like changing. I'm just looking out the window now and it's all overcast again. But what we'll do is we'll wait for a nice sunny day, lay all the K2 media out onto a nice um, flat surface and just let it bake in the sun. Once again, when we finish, rinse it off, bring it back to the system. So what we're going to do for the system, like I said, we're going to run the, the solution through the pumps, through the plumbing, we're going to clean all the surfaces off with it. Once we are happy and thoroughly disinfected, we will dry out the systems and we'll leave the systems dry for about two to three days. Once we're happy with that, we will come out, rinse, rinse out all the bleach solution or any of the, the sediment that is dried onto the glass or, or the plumbing, rinse it out properly, fill the tanks up with RO water. So as a as a precautionary, because we ran the bleach method here, well, we're going to run the bleach method here, we are going to fill up with RO water, get ready to reset the, the systems, but we will run a dechlorinator in the water just as a precautionary. If there's a little bit of bleach left over, the dechlorinator will remove that out the water. We'll bind it and then, yeah, so it won't become an issue and then we'll set up the tanks. The idea is to rinse it off as thoroughly as you can before adding the water, which we will do. But like I said, we're adding the dechlorinator as a precautionary method. Okay. Yes, it was a sad, a sad incident. Um, we'll tell you a little bit about it. You know, it was 
like I said, two days after the after after we had landed the the shipments, fish literally started dropping like flies. By day by the end of day two, we had already lost a hundred fish, and a lot more were infected. Since then, I think we've lost a total of about a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty fish. I just need to tally up the the actual amounts. I'm just a little bit. You know, not in the right mind frame to go through all that right now. But yes, like I said, it was quite devastating. It did hit hard. Um, you know, all those little, all those little lives that were lost. It's like I said a hundred times over. This is the part of the industry I do not like. But unfortunately, it is, it is a reality in this industry. Okay, so we're going to start the process. We're just going to do a quick little montage, sped up video on how we're going to do it. So you can just watch through that. One tip I can give you if you are doing the bleach method, change your clothes. Bleach is messy and it will mess up your clothes, so wear old clothes when doing it. Um, that's the best piece of advice I can give you. So, so let's get to it. Like I said, we're just going to go through it over, over quickly. When you are doing this method, just thoroughly rinse off or clean off every surface. You know, get into everything give it a good clean we, basically like I said what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up our return our, our return section on our sump I'm going to fill that up with about 20 liters of water with a 10% solution and I'm just going to run that through the, the pump and through the plumbing and that will add bleached water into each one of these systems behind me here and then I can just use that bleach and give it a good thorough clean what I am going to do is on, on the down pipes that go to the sump, I'm going to block, I'm going to cap off, I'm going to cap off the, the down pipe going into the sump and I'm going to fill up that plumbing with a bleach solution and just leave it to soak for, for a couple of hours, give it a good soaking and then just open up that, op, remove the caps and then that will just pour, pour into the sump section and clean that sump section. I'm also going to soak all the equipment that, like the protein skimmers, um, I do have a UV sterilizer in, in, the, in the sumps here. I'm not too worried about the UV sterilizer itself, but the pump that feeds the UV sterilizer, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to run a bleach solution through the, through the UV sterilizer. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the UV sterilizer itself, because the UV sterilizer in its own would be sterilized. But the pump and the plumbing to the UV sterilizer, unfortunately, could still be infected. So we need to just make sure we get every little nook and cranny in the system. So, like I said, the system now is going to be in full lockdown for, I would say, minimum six weeks. And we'll just monitor the, the overall health of the fish. Once the system is, is ready and the fish are all ready to be removed from here, we will do the same with this system. So, so for today, all we're going to do is the four foot above me here plus the sump. So this will run together, just in case if we do get a shipment of bigger fish, it's nice to have the bigger fish tank. I don't want to accidentally order some small tangs and they send me, you know, some of those tangs there are quite large and to have a large tang in this tank, I don't, I don't really like it. So we're going to do this system as well. Like I've said, this system is cut off completely from this bank and it's running on its own. Yeah, so let's get to it. And like I said, remember, change clothes.
So that was cleaning a system with bleach. It is an effective way to get rid of any parasites and it's something unfortunately we have to do to keep business going and look at getting another shipment of fish in as soon as possible. And, you know, the, the, the other way to get rid of it is just to run the system for at least 72 days without any fish in it and unfortunately we can't afford to do that. We have to go the route of setting it up as quickly as possible. Yeah, so just remember to get every little nook and cranny you can think of, even even the, the tops of the, the glass where water has sit, sit, been sitting on, all the equipment that you've ever used in that system, nets, scrapers, glass cleaners, sponges, anything you used in that system, either you chuck it and get new, or disinfect it, like nets and that, you don't have to throw them away. Cleaning sponges, throw those in the bin. Mm -hmm. Go buy some new cleaning sponges or pull out, the, pull out some new cleaning sponges from the, from the cupboard. Don't waste your time cleaning those. But the rest of the stuff that you use in your system, magnet cleaners, glass scrapers, anything that has been in that system, just give it a bleach bath and don't look back. See you in the next video and happy reefing.